Uh, today, the 18th of January 2023, we had a meeting for the steering committee for the visit of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. And this is the second uh, meeting we have this year. As we prepare for the coming of the Holy Father, uh, we are uh, trying to evaluate uh, the different committees, uh, whether they have prepared themselves uh, and what are the missing things. And this was a, a very good opportunity uh, that different committees uh, came together, uh, beginning with the Committee of the Liturgy, headed by Bishop Stephen Nyodo, and also the Committee for uh, the Pilgrims uh, by Bishop uh, Santo Laku. And then we have also the Committee for Finance, led by uh, Bishop Matthew Remigio, and, and, and many other uh, committees. We have different committees for protocol, for security, for, uh, for order, and many other committees. And so we had a very good deliberation this morning. And I think many of these committees have already uh, said that they are ready for the coming of the Holy Father. Of course, always in preparation, people are not 100% prepared. Otherwise, it would not be uh, uh, easy, or it would have not be easy to uh, to come together in order to see whether this person or that committee has prepared. So, uh, to be exact, all the committees, especially the one of communication uh, and media, uh, is also prepared, uh, led by uh, Bishop uh, Barani Iboro, and and so I think. On behalf of the of the Bishop Conference of South Sudan and Sudan, we are ready to receive the Holy Father uh, to South Sudan in Juba. And I think uh, we thank the different committees for having been resilient to prepare for the coming of the Holy Father. And I think uh, we hope that uh, his coming will be enriching <coughs> us all as a church, but also as a nation. And we had also uh, a collaboration of um, the councils. Uh, South Sudan Council of Churches is also present uh, by its secretary, uh, Je uh, Father James Soyet. Uh, they were also present because there are other things that we will do uh, ecumenically there are prayers for ecumenical uh, uh, prayers in the mausoleum and I think also our uh, brothers in the ecumenical body are all prepared for this coming of the, uh, the, two, uh, uh, the two other churchmen plus uh, the Holy Father, Pope Francis. I think all in all, I think uh, this uh, is uh, a kind of an opportunity for us uh, to get our minds together uh, and to bring uh, the people of South Sudan for peace, reconciliation, and love of one another. I think the Holy Father's coming will en enrich us in what I mentioned. And we hope, we pray that his uh, visit will be successful. It will not be like any other visit. And we hope that. Uh, each one will be enriched as we con continue to expect his coming. I hope uh, there is Bishop uh, Stephen present here. He is my deputy. And then there is the general coordinator for the coming of the Holy Father. And then we have the secretary general of our bishop conference. And so maybe I would uh, ask Bishop Stephen uh, to say something also too concerning this preparation. 
you are welcome to your bishop. Uh, thank you, Your Grace, and uh, we thank the media. And now we also call uh, this juncture, call upon our people, the people of God in South Sudan, to prepare themselves spiritually to receive the Holy Father and also to work hard so that this uh, visit of the Holy Father together with the moderator of the Presbyterian Church and the Archbishop of Canterbury may be a form of, point of transformation in our country a point also coming together as people of God to see to it that things change in our life as a spiritual being and to work toward the reconciliation as the Archbishop said, toward the unity and most of all toward peace in this country. So it is a golden chance for us, the coming of this holy people, the Holy Father together with two brothers, so that all of us from different denominations, including also our brother Muslim, who will also join us. It would be a chance for us together as people of South, South Sudan and people of Sudan to make this an opportunity, a golden opportunity for us. So this is also for you, the people of media, to continue also spreading this word and also the chance for the people of God to know that the Holy Father is coming. Some of us are still doubting that the Holy Father is not coming. We are assuring you today, the Holy Father is coming, remain some few days, let us prepare ourselves. Those who are near to Juba, they, they should start coming on foot. And those who are far also, they should start coming from today on. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, now uh, we allow you for maybe three questions.